Today on Rabbitohs TV, we've got Charlie Gallico, the man behind the Reggie Rabbit suit. First of all, thanks for having us in your home, mate. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for coming. No yeah. worries, mate. Now, yeah. where are you from and what was it like growing up there? I was born in Italy and um, my dad came out in 1951 and um, we, I come out a year later, which I was nine years old at the time. And uh, we moved to La Perouse first for six months and then we come out to Matraville and lived here all our life, my life. So where did you fall in love with rugby league, Charlie, uh, uh, a migrant out from Italy? Well, uh, a mate of mine, uh, Gary Mashman, he asked me, he was a manager at the time of uh, tents in La Perouse, and uh, he asked me would I help him be a trainer and um, to help him out. So I said yes I would and um, that's where I started my career. Um, training the boys at La Perouse when they were 10 years old. And you ended up at the junior reps, the Harold Matthews and everything. Who helped you get there? Um, well, at the time, um, there was this uh, director, directors going around looking at the young kids that are coming up and um, looking how the game is going. And um, he, he saw me and I got a letter in the mail saying, uh, I would like to see you. So I went up to the club one day and I found him and um, he said to me, uh, would you like to represent South Sydney Juniors in the, in the Matthews U? And I said, yeah, I, I love that. And Who that, was that director? Uh, that director was uh, John Jones, known uh, nickname Chucky Jones. And um, that's how I became a trainer for the Matthew Shield, and I've been there 32 years so far. Oh wow, you've been, you've been involved with the Rabbitohs for a long, long time. Where did it start? The, how did the opportunity come about that you end up being the famous mascot for the Rabbitohs, mate? Well, when we were kicked out of the competition in 2000, and we came back in 2001, um, I knew Sean Garlick because he became the manager of the South Sydney Rugby League. And I went and saw him and I said, Sean, you've got to do me a favour. I said, I would love to run the boys on St George and South Cherry Shield. And he, he said, I'll put it to the board. And a week later, I got a letter and he said to me, I can do it. And I don't know what the, that week. I ran the boys on and walked around the stadium and I, 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 got a, I could see all the young kids happy about Reggie Rabbit. So I went back to Sean on Monday morning and told him to do a resume for me. And um, he done the resume because I wanted to do it. And uh, he put it to the board and two weeks later I got a letter saying I can be Reggie Rabbit. And I've been doing it ever since, and now it's uh, 21 years. And you're doing a fantastic job, mate. Tell us a bit about the charity work you do with South Cares. Well, I, I do a lot. I do a lot of hospital work and this, and, and um, but the, mo the, the one that sticks in my head is the one that a young boy, 15, he was riding his push bike on the gravel road up in Parramatta, and he fell off it and he hit his head on the rock. And um, for six months, the doctors and everybody else could not do nothing about it. So I the, the, told the father who he loved the most, and uh, he mentioned me, Reggie Rabbit. So the doctors told him, get Reggie Rabbit, to, we'll get him in the room, sit him down, and with all the other staff and uh, patients, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I've done that, I went up one day, and. Um, here he is, when I walked in, he's in the middle of the floor and in the wheelchair and we've got the patients and doctors and everybody else. And um, I've I done about 20 minutes of movement in front of him and um, nothing happened, nothing. So I tapped the father on the shoulder and we went out. When we went out, the father said, Reggie, can you do it one more time for me, one more? And I turned around and I said, look, how about you saying something to him? Something you think he'll respond? And I said, say it loudly. 
So we went back out again, and um, the father stood in front of him, and I stood in front of him, waving my hand. And um, the father said to him, What colours are South Sydney? What colours are South Sydney? And he moved his lips. Once he moved his lips, there was communication in his brain. And the doctors and the patients all clapped. They were all so happy. So I done my job and I went home and five years later I got a letter in the mail saying he was getting married and he invited me to his wedding. And that was the, the best of thing and that I'll never forget in my life. Yeah, to bring a young boy back. How special. Yeah. Yeah, uh, another well, I mean, difficult time for you was um, when your wife Sophia passed away in 2013. Tell us about that time and what the club did for you and the players. Well, I was very surprised. Mark Allison uh, in the dressing room told me that uh, Charlie, tonight you don't run the boys on. And they go, do I go to run for your wife? And you run on last. And to me, that was a, a real honour because of how they think and how they thought of me to do that for me. And after the game, we beat Newcastle and uh, Adam Reynolds and um, Isaac Luke come from behind, lifted me up and took me all around the stadium. And to me, I had tears in my eyes because I never expected that, never, never. Well, they hold you with a lot of respect, obviously, Charlie. And, yeah. And obviously at the funeral, you had a couple of yeah. rabbitos um, be pallbearers and everything. Yeah, there was, uh, at the funeral was uh, Jason Clark and um, Sam Burgess. And to me, that's another honour to have players lift a uh, coffin and carry it. And that's another honour that people don't expect to get. But I got it and I appreciate it. And he's a special, well, not only Sam Burge, but Jason Clark's a, a special player. Yeah, no, I Special were. person. Yes, yes. Now, the following year, we had a bit of success on the field. The mighty South Sydney Rabbitohs ended up winning our first premiership in 43 years. What's, what's Charlie Gallico's story of that week? Well, in the morning we, we went for breakfast and then uh, we went back to the stadium and um, everybody gets all excited, as, as you can imagine, and we run on and I, I didn't think that we beat the Bulldogs because um, they beat us a week before or a couple of weeks before. And um, when uh, I was looking at the score and the come up 10, 10, and then after that, the, the Bulldogs never scored any more. We won 36-10, and that was the best of the best for our boys. Yeah, and the celebrations were, were pretty yeah. special, mate. I bet you savoured that moment. Yeah. Well, I never took my head off for 16 years, and tonight was a special night. We won the grand final, everybody's happy, and Richo, the CO, was next to me. Everybody was so happy, and um, I, yell, I yell out, Richo, Richo, can I take me head off? And he said, Reggie, do whatever you want. And that was the first time in my life I took the head off. And people and young kids started to know me now, as I am now. Well, that's right, you are the man behind the Reggie Rabbit suit, mate, and um, yeah. you should be very proud of what you've done. Now, what about other mascots? Are you, are you mates with any other mascots or anything like yeah, that? Or is there a bit of rivalry there? Yeah, well, we play Manly at Manly and um, Manly Eagle was giving me a bit of a hard time, so I turned around, tripped him over and sat on him. <laughs> and um, the crowd loved it. Oh, I bet they did. But the South crowd, I mean, loved it. Yeah. Knocking down the Eagle. Oh, that would have good, eh? and, uh, and then you've got the Titans. When, I go, when we go up in the Titans, they come behind and lift me up and take me all around the football. Even the Titan fans love it. Like, just love it. Yeah, yeah, I bet they do. Now, up in Mudgee, mate, there was a rumour you and the Dragon from the St George of yeah. Dragons had a running race. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, well, you know, we had a race and I said to him, um, he said to me, you're not going to win. I said, well, we'll see. See how good you are. He's only a young bloke, isn't he, this mascot? Yeah, he's only 35. Yeah, 35 years old. He's younger than me. I'm 78. So I'll give him a run for his money. 
I left him behind miles and miles. I think he went into panic somewhere. <laughs> oh, mate, I would love to see that one. We weren't up at Mudge this year, me and Mavo. Brownie was Eve. I'm sure he'll <laughs> uh, retell that story. Now, um, look, we'd just like to thank you for your time, Charlie, on yeah. Rabbitohs TV. And obviously our proud sponsors there, Daryl Lee, who produced chocolate and licorice since 1927. Yeah. A stone's throw away from Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's all there behind you, mate, so... It's a pleasure having you guys here, and uh, my, my name is uh, Charlie Gullico, so, also known as Reggie Rabbit, and watch Rabbitohs TV. Thanks. For, just one last one before you go. How long are you going to continue to be Reggie Rabbit? Well, I'm, I've been doing it 21 years. I'm 78. If my calculation is right, I reckon I've got another five years. Oh, easy. Five years. Ten. Ten more, Charlie. <laughs> oh, no, no. Ten. I'll be in the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll still love to see you out there, mate. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us on Rabbitohs TV. Thank you.